They're known as a powerhouse football team. Over the past few years, it seems the Lord Bonnetod Cavaliers have gotten stronger and better. Last year, they made it all the way to the Class 3 state semifinals. So the big question, what's their secret? Our Andrew McClung joins us now with how the Cavaliers became the team they are today. When you take a look at the current Lord Bonnetod football team, the first things that can come to your mind could be, wow, huge, fast, strong but it has not always been that way for the Cavaliers. Before head coach Jamie Harless started at Lord Botetot in 2012, the Cavaliers were known as one of the easier teams to beat. I don't know that I saw anything that needed to change uh, as much as needed to be believed. I'm not sure they felt like they could win, and I don't think that's anybody's fault. You know, the historical uh, analysis of this place uh, prior to 2012, we had averaged 3.8 wins a season as a school. There never was an expectation or a belief that this place was going to be successful. I, I think that's where it all starts, is just making people believe they can do things. And the Cavs certainly began believing in themselves, bringing them just steps away from state titles the past few seasons. But they've also believed in the power of the weight room. Oh, it's, it's all of it. It's every skill I have it comes from here. Well, I mean, any, any program that's going to be successful, if this is not a huge component of that, and I don't care whether it's football, basketball, baseball, um, you know, there's a lot of myths and lies about the weight room will take away your athleticism. It does not take away your athleticism. You know, athleticism is the expression of power in a technical movement. Uh, Power is what strength times speed. If the street, if the strength component doesn't change, then the power doesn't change. And after a hard workout, you can find the Cavaliers going into the coach's office and diving into this cooler and pulling out one of the best things and one of the best secrets for the Lord Botetourt Cavaliers: chocolate milk. Oh, it's great! It's I think it's what got me in here. My brother was telling me about it. He was like, dude, you got to try this chocolate milk. And I was never really a chocolate milk drinker or anything. I never drank milk. And uh, he told me about it. I was like, okay, whatever, I'll try it. And uh, I tried it after lifting. And I definitely, it was, it was great. I've been drinking milk my whole life. I've understood my whole life that milk drinkers are big people, strong people. Um, they recover quicker. Uh, only thing I didn't have was the chocolate to go in it. And once I, once I uh, you know, discovered chocolate milk, that's pretty... Pretty nice discovery. But what is it about chocolate milk? We grow the most in our life when we're on a liquid diet, and that, that liquid is milk. So as I rebuild and remodel the tissue that, I've, that I have damaged through a workout, the milk, the sugar, the protein, it creates a hormonal cocktail, and it rebuilds you faster. And it's over time, it takes six years, kid shows up in this weight room and the process is done correctly, the nutrition's right. You know, it's just like farming. It, the, the magic's not in one cup. The magic's not one workout. The magic's over a six year time period. And if you embrace it and do it, you, you're gonna be pretty good. And by the looks of this Cavaliers team, their belief in themselves and hard work in the weight room is paying off, as many of these guys are looking to play football at the next level. Like current Virginia Tech lineman, Jesse Hansen, who graduated from Lord Botata in December. In studio, I'm Andrew McClung for WFXR Sports. There we go, Andrew. Thank you. And look what we have in the studio tonight here at WFXR. Jermaine Farrell Great. brought us some of that special chocolate milk yeah. local. Yeah, let's stop talking about it. Let's get a taste. Let's this, is it. Say, this is good. It's as good as advertised, I promise you guys. Well, that is good. Ooh. Now, this is from a farm. Wow. You're Ooh. telling me in Rural Retreat? That's right, Rural Retreat. And, there we uh, go. Again, wow. uh, I tell you, this def definitely helps those football players. In fact, it'd be good for a milkshake. Ooh, yeah, yeah. 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 a little milkshake. bit of that milkshake flavor yeah. to it yeah. right now. That was yeah. a big old cooler hey, full yeah. of chocolate milk. And I milk. think, uh, like uh, uh, Coach Harless was saying, they're looking at you know like an orange flavor, kind of like a creamsicle flavor. Oh. Mm. So that's going to be pretty neat. But Andrew McClung did a great job on this story. He got a jug too, but I'm sure he's going to get as much as he can. But this is good, guys. I'm going to take a little another drink of this. There we go. Secrets out. Secret is out. Jermaine and Andrew.